at this next stage I'm going to just show you if you require to rotate any images you do so under the image rotate canvas menu and you can see you have a number of options you can change it to 90 degrees clockwise 180 to flip it or to 90 degrees arbitrary just tells you that you can set the amount of angle that you can have so if I put that at 90 degrees and clockwise and press OK the image gets changed like that so if I change this image back rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise the image is now back to as it was what is important to remember that if you see the 57.3 percent this number indicates the physical size of the image so what do I mean by that if I click onto the magnifying glass and click onto actual pixels notice what happens to this number up here the image becomes bigger it shows that it's 100 percent it shows that the image is this actual size in reality now if I click back to fit on screen again watch what happens to this number it now says 57.3 percent which shows you how it has fit the image onto the screen so that we can see it on our monitor in front of us if I want to resize this image to be smaller or bigger if I resize it bigger it may compromise the quality of it if I resize it smaller I may need to do so so that I can put it onto this page more successfully which I will show you later by right clicking and going to image size is one way but the way I might suggest also is to go to image and under image we can go to image size so that just shows you I could reduce this image and if I put 500 whilst this box constrained proportions is ticked it means that it will keep the width in relation to the height so then that means the image doesn't get squashed in its width or its height so it won't make him look like as though it's been under a steamroller so if I press OK notice how the image has reduced it's still at 57.3 but you can see that the image has been made smaller 